I'm reviewing Mock Bibs, as you can see. The brand is pretty much known for their super stylish kits. These are navy blue, and I primarily got them to go with all the jerseys that I have from the brand and super love. Raising your arms up, I don't get any belly yak, so you can see that this is actually high enough, and I would assume that on someone a little bit shorter than 5'7", this would be even better for preventing that belly gap. They're about eight and a half inches um, from you know, the crotch to the hem. I am shorter in the torso and longer in the legs, so if you're somebody who's 5'4", expect these bibs to be coming just above the knee, which I think is a little bit on the longer side. I personally prefer something that sits about here. Um, you know, tan lines and everything. Straps are super stretchy. I can see that being a problem. And a little bit on the bigger side in the waist. There are reflective pieces on the back of the legs and on the right leg. There's a little moth logo. Let's try these out and hopefully they are awesome. I am not really sure where to start with these bibs. I just finished a one hour and 20 minute ride in these. It was supposed to be a longer ride, but if I'm being completely honest, various features in this bib made me quit early. There is a band at the bottom of elastic that goes around the entire bib that does have silicone grippers on it. It is, I mean, these bibs feel like the actual fabric is great quality and I really like the way that they look on with maybe the exception of the fact that these grippers can give you a little bit of sausage leg just because they're so thin. Um, it's about like an inch and a half wide. That married with the fact that these are fully elastic all the way around can create a nice little sausage. The way that these straps are made it's definitely different than some of the other brands in that the entirety of the straps actually are this mesh that have this binding on the side of fabric that I think is pretty much the same as the body of the bibs. This fabric is really nice. It sucks you in. Um, I love the color. The big downside of this is they didn't reinforce any part of these straps with a fabric that has <clears throat> less stretch. So basically the straps are too long. And <laughs> that paired with the fact that this fabric is very, very stretchy four-way stretch is not great. So if I were to redesign this bib, I think I would essentially put the fabric in a different direction or find some sort of fabric that would make it stretch a little bit less in the actual strap area because I found these way too long. This is a very strange chamois. I have not used anything that looks like this before. It is super aggressive. As you can see, it flares out pretty wildly and tapers pretty aggressively. I initially thought I would love this chamois because my sit bones would be properly supported. It's wide enough, but like most bibs that I've tried, the chamois not placed correctly. The reason I had to quit my ride is because this stitching here, where the two different densities of foam are, is pretty much where I was sitting. And the fact that there is such aggressive, durable stitching there, it just rubbed my sit bone so wrong and raw um, that, you know, after 45 minutes, I was like, well, maybe I can just like quit my workout early. Like other bibs, these chamois are just placed way too far back. There's like all this excess sit bone area that should be supporting them that is not. That I was riding on the trainer. I wasn't moving around maybe as much as I would have been outside, but 45 minutes is a really short period of time. The other thing that's kind of stressful about these bibs is you can see it flares out, it comes in, and I've never really seen this in this way on a chamois before, and I can say that it is not great design. It's not sewn in in the correct place in the bibs. When I'm riding, I imagine this, I'm wearing these inside out. Actually, maybe I should try and wear these inside out and video it for you guys, but 
instead of my leg when I pedal creasing here, um, what ends up happening is my leg creases or bends earlier on, which creates this huge pocket of flappy chamois that kind of ends up looking like a diaper in the front. And for a longer ride, I have done like a four hour ride in these before. It is just brutal. Like it just, it grates the front of you and your sit bones in the back part are just being destroyed here. But the thing is, is these bibs are really good looking. Um, I think they feel really durable. I, I love the way that they look on a kit. I love the way they've done their color combo. I think the brand in general does some really, really sharp designs and I am a huge fan of their jerseys. The bibs are an area that are lacking. I like that they've tried something and put a bib out there, but I, I want them to really refine how these bibs feel and work when you're on the bike. As usual, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more reviews on bibs in the upcoming weeks and months, so this is just one of many.